Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my full-on Colourpop collection video. Now if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram you would know that I have a hella Colourpop obsession and my obsession really only just started I'm gonna say in like the last half of last year. I mean I had a few things from Colourpop and then I honestly like just instantly started collecting a bunch of their stuff and now I'm obsessed, like obsessed. If you, again, follow me on Instagram, literally every second post is a Colourpop post. And I'm just like, eee. but honestly, they're such an amazing brand. They're affordable, obviously. You can only buy Colourpop directly from their website. They're cruelty free, they're US based. That's kind of just a rundown on the brand if you haven't heard of Colourpop. But yeah, I've got literally all my little baskets of Colourpop stuff here. So this might be a long video, so be sure to grab a snack, grab a drink, whatever you guys want to do. You do you. If you are good to watch a video without any of that shit, then props to you. If you enjoy these kind of videos, please give the video a big thumbs up. If you want in-depth videos in, on any of these products or you just want to ask a question to me about any of this stuff, then please let me know down below. If you guys are also Colourpop lovers like myself then please be sure to thumbs up this video leave me some love in the comments i would really appreciate it so without further ado if you guys want to check out all things ColourPop, my thoughts my opinions what i own then please just keep on watching okay you guys so i'm just coming back to film a short little clip i'm aware i have no lip color on it's just because honestly when i have a lip color on especially dark when i'm kissing skylar and touching skylar it's just no point having a lip color on. So I just took my lip color off. I'm just back to give you guys a little insight. I have decided that I'm gonna make this video into two parts. So this is gonna be the first part that you see. The reason I decided to make it two parts is I think this video is already as long as, as it is. So yeah, I've got so much more to cover. In my next part two it will be the pressed powders, pressed bronzers, all that whatnot, and the face and eye palettes which I have so many to go through so yeah I just thought I would come back in here quickly that's why I might look a little different and the lighting is just shot the lighting is gone for the day I apologize so this is part one I hope you guys enjoy and stick around you'll still probably need a snack or a drink a wine a coffee a water popcorn whatever you guys want to do but I hope you enjoy this part one of my Colourpop makeup collection so without further ado I'm gonna shut up and let's get into it okay so honestly you guys I don't even know where to start so I'm just gonna go in I've got all my stuff in front of me so if I'm looking down at any point in time I apologize I'm just grabbing things out of their little baskets um, maybe we'll go with the super shock shadows first because I believe that was one of their first ever products launched so let's do it now I only own a few of these I don't really use them they're not my cup of tea I own six I own six of these but yeah they are good they're just not my thing so if you guys don't know what the super shock shadows look like they kind of just come in a little twisty off cap like this and this one is in the shade sailor it is gorgeous but yeah, I just don't use these. So this Super Shock shadow here is in the shade Sailor. It is a gorgeous shade. It's gorgeous. It's just, these aren't my thing. Like, I've tried to make these work and they just, they just don't work for me. Also, if you can hear little Skylar, my daughter, she's here to party in the background. She's in her little high chair, just having a ball. So yeah, that's what it is. Um, we then have Girly, which is this shade here. Now, I don't think I'm going to go through every single product with you guys just because it would honestly take forever, but that's girly there. It's more of like a pinky shift. I got this gorgeous green shade called Cusp. Now, I don't know if all of this stuff is going to be available anymore, so I apologize if it's not, but these just have sort of like a moussey formula. I believe we, these were one of their first eyeshadows. So that is Cusp. It is gorgeous. I really do want to try and branch out and start using these some more, but honestly, I just, I would rather use depressed eyeshadow, just my personal preference. But if you like these and can get them to work, then that is amazing. So yeah, that's the Super Shock shadows. They're not my preferred thing, but they're not bad in any type of way. They're just not what I prefer. So if you like a creamy, moussey formula and you can get that to work on your eyes, then great, go for it, buy these. I believe they're only five US dollars each. So yeah, they are a bargain and they are truly amazing. They just don't work out for me personally. So let's move on to the next item. 
Okay, so moving on to the Super Shock Cheeks. Now, I know you're thinking, Amy, you didn't like the eyeshadows, so why do you like, or why would you like the Super Shock Cheeks? Now, for me, these work completely different on the face to what they do on the eyes. Um, I just, I just, I just love it. I just love these on the face. I do have this on today. I have Flexitarian on with one of their pressed highlighters, which I'll show you over the top. But as you can see, these just give an amazing glow. Another thing I love to do with these is get a beauty blender, swirl your beauty, 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 beauty blender, swirl your beauty blender in and pat it on under foundation and then over. You just get the most gorgeous natural glow. Now I know my glow is super extra and it's not gonna be for everyone. However, it's my kind of thing. I love it. I own four of these super cheeks, so I might as well share them with you guys. But yeah, Flexitarium is a super popular one, which is this one here. Now these do have a bit bigger packaging as opposed to the last lot. Now that is Flexitarium. As you can see, it is stunning, reflective. It just hits the light like bam. That's a cult favorite. I get why. Now let's move on to Shiro. This one is one of their marbled effect Super Shock Cheeks. So I don't think this one's actually available anymore, but that's what it looks like. And then we'll give it a swatch next to, oh yeah, this one's more bronzy. Not sure what I thought when I bought that because that's not gonna match me, but that's okay. It's still super pretty, super reflective, probably good as an eyeshadow, but then again, I'm not a fan of this eyeshadow for my eyes. So yeah, let's keep swatching. I then got Fanny Pack, which I definitely know is limited edition in this black packaging. As a makeup collector, when I see limited edition packaging, I think like I have to have it. So that one there is Fanny Pack. Sorry about the super bad swatching. But yeah, that's more of an icy white kind of highlight. And then lastly, we have another favorite. This is Wisp. Now this is more goldy. So that is Wisp there. Definitely not my skin tone when I'm pretty pale like I am now. Oh my God, I'm so sorry about that annoying little thing. If that was pissing you guys off, I'm so sorry. I've only just realized. So yeah, that one's Wisp. That one is so gorgeous. Let's go into ultra matte lips or the lips in general that I own. So I have quite a few of each category. I am currently wearing one. This one that I'm wearing is called Take a Pixie. This was part of their 2017 holiday. This color is stunning. I'm living for it. It's like a purpley toned brownie, mauve-y, I don't know. It's just stunning. So yeah, this was this one in their limited edition holiday packaging. It has stars all over it and gold detailing, whereas their standard packaging is silver, if you guys can see that sort of, I apologize. But yeah, I do like how with the collections, they do limited edition packaging, I'm here for it. So that is what I'm wearing, it's an ultra matte. This is so, so, so comfortable. Like it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing anything, so I'm very surprised about that. So that's what's on my lips. I will go through my others, swatch them, share them with you guys. Okay, so like I was just touching base on the Christmas collection, I'm sure you guys know that ColourPop do team up with certain bloggers, creators, you know, famous people, and they do collabs. So the three that I'm gonna show you from the collabs that I have right here, obviously the ColourPop and My Little Pony collab, Gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. And then we have a ultra matte um, ColourPop slash cross. I love Sada E. This is a stunning color again. And then the ColourPop and Karuchi, I believe. Okay, that's Karuchi, yeah? I'm not too sure, but that's that color there. So I will do some swatches of these ones and I'll do a few other ones. So we've got the My Little Pony collab in lemon drop now this is an ultra matte okay you guys so i just swatched some of the shades on my hand now these are still currently drying down but i did just want to swatch a diverse variety array of shades for you guys so we've got lemon drop my little pony and ColourPop, and then here we have sagon sajon i'm not really sure this is the k collab and then another one from that same 
Trio, I believe. This one's Chi, which is a stunning nudie shade. And then we have the I Love Sada E and Colourpop, obviously, in Mamacita. And then the last one, which is one of the first ultra mattes I ever tried, Kapow, which is a greyish nudie colour. These are also stunning. They dry down completely matte. I'm not too sure if the formula has changed since they first started till now because this one is super, super comfortable on my lips. This is like their latest collection sort of thing, like a new one. And I feel like the older ones, when I wear them, they feel, feel a tad drying. I'm not sure if they change things up. However, I still love them regardless. I find them pretty long wearing. They're just amazing liquid lipsticks. And if you are after that true dry down matte transfer proof lip, then you guys are gonna love the ultra matte lips. And I would highly suggest checking them out. Now let's move on to the ultra satin lips. So now moving on to the Ultra Satin Lips, again, they have paired up with people and collaborated on different collections. They also have a super extensive wide range of Ultra Satins as well. I'm just going to share with you guys three of the ones that I have here. The rest are somewhere in my collection. Now these Ultra Satin Lips are for someone who doesn't like that super drying matte feeling. However, these aren't going to be completely transfer proof. You do, like if you kiss the back of your hand, you will get some sort of transfer. However, they're super comfortable. They're an amazing formula. They're basically a hybrid between a matte and a satin lip, like a matte and shiny in between. Not completely transfer proof, however, stunning, super comfortable. And I mean, they're not too bad, but yeah, it's really up to you guys. If you hate a matte lip, then I would definitely suggest checking out the Ultra Satins. Again, same type of packaging. Now this one is a really unique shade. This one's Marshmallow. Now this is a super purpley grayish shade. Definitely something that I don't wear on a daily, obviously, but definitely for fun looks, I thought this would be a cool shade. So that is Marshmallow. And then we have Point Zero, which I believe was possibly one of the collabs with Kathleen Lights. This shade is a very well loved shade for me. I love it, stunning. Also, I forgot to mention, the doe foot applicators are pretty small, really easy to get in the grooves, and this one's quite fluffy. However, on some of them, they are pretty sharp and not as fluffy. So I'm gonna backtrack here, but if I just show you guys the ultra matte lip that I use today, Fragile Things, it definitely is not as fluffy as the point zero one I just showed you. And then we have 951 Sada E Collab. This one again is fluffy. This is a gorgeous nude shade again. And yeah, there you have your satins. Now they will dry down, but not completely. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so here are those ultra satins. They are pretty much dried down, but not completely like I said. I personally love the ultra satins as well as the ultra mattes. Now we're gonna move right along into the ultra glossies. So now let's get on to the ultra glossy lips. I have a few here to share with you guys. Again, one from the My Little Pony collab which is stunning, let me tell you. This one's in the shade Flutter Valley, which these might be a bit hard to see with the reflection and whatnot, but this one is a gorgeous peachy gloss. You can sort of see the reflect there. They also have solid color glosses, like this one here in the shade Fairy Floss. This is just a light nude gloss, which is also super, super stunning. Honestly, it's gonna be so hard to show you these glosses, you guys, because they are sort of just skin tone and they kind of just hit the light. But I have this new Sada E1 in the shade Atoli, Atole, I'm not really sure, but I've been wanting to try it out. So I'm gonna put it on top of this lip and see how we go. Oh, it's really pretty. It's like, Pinky with a gold reflect. Really, really nice. I don't find the glosses to be super sticky either. And I think they were pretty good considering. So I just thought I would chuck that on there. Mm, yeah, I love that look. Also, I apologize guys. I forgot to mention the prices. I believe the mattes and satins have gone up 50 cents, so $6.50. They did originally used to be $6, and I think the glossies are still 
I'll put it on the screen if I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I believe the mattes and the satins are $6.50 US dollars, and then the glosses are still $6. So yeah, let's get on to another topic of ColourPop now. Okay, so for lip liners, I have three here. I have this one in the shade Aquarius, which is stunning. If I just show you guys, they are super creamy, super pigmented. They just easily glide on. I then have Mamacita, which again is from the ColourPop I Love Sada E. As you guys saw, that just glided on like a dream. And then I have a red one in the shade Bossy. Oh, these lip liners are stunning. I really need to pick up some more of these lip liners. But there are the shades there, Aquarius, Mamacita, and Bossy. Now, honestly, these are like my three staple <laughs> lip liner colors. I'm either gonna wear a nude, a dark lip, or a red. So that's got me covered. I believe these are still $5 on the website. They are worth every single bit of $5. They really do prolong the wear of the lips. They're just stunning. I love the lip liners. They're amazing. Now, I don't own any of their lippy sticks or blotted lippies or any of their other lip range. They don't really interest me and I only buy the things that really interest me. If you guys have tried their other lip range, please have a chat down below. Let everyone else know what they're like in case other people want to pick them up. So yeah, please let us know down below what they're like. Do I need to pick up the ultra blotted or the ultra, what are they called? The lippy sticks. The only reason I've never picked up lippy sticks is I'm not a huge fan of bullet lipsticks or normal lipsticks. I prefer these type of liquid lipsticks in tubes, but yeah, maybe I do need to try them. So let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments and we will have a chat. So let's move on. Okay, so moving on to the no filter concealer. Hands down, my favorite concealer of life. These are six US dollars, honestly. If you guys can see my packaging, I'm like, look at this one, I'm all out. Now, the only downfall I have with this product and something that I wanna tell you guys to keep in mind is that when you apply it, it does dry down a tad a bit darker. So I own the shades Fair 5, which is the lightest shade in the range, I believe, and I also own Light Neutral 15. Now, I find that I can get away with Fair 5 because it does dry down a little darker, which I like a bright under eye. I'm actually not wearing this today, but I'm usually wearing this in every other single video. So it is such an amazing concealer and I do love them. And I think they're worth every bit of the $6 that they are. And I'll continue to repurchase. I'll probably just continue to repurchase Fair 5 because this works great for me. If it didn't dry down, it might be a little too light. However, I seem to make it work and these concealers are amazing and they do come in a diverse range of shades, which I think a lot of you will be able to find your skin tone, skin shade of concealer, but I do absolutely love these concealers. Let me know what you've tried, if you guys love these as well, but yeah, these are a must. If you're gonna try something, these. I am so impatiently waiting for a no filter concealer, so ColourPop, if you're watching, hit us up with a no filter foundation. Did I just say concealer? Because I meant foundation. Please ColourPop hit us up with a no filter foundation to match these concealers. They're full coverage, they're lightweight, they're just stunning. Literally, these are worth every single bit of hype that the internet gives them. Okay, so next up we have the Supernova Shadows. Now these are a fairly newer release to ColourPop within the last, I wanna say month or two, three in last year. I have three shades of these. Supernova Shadows, they're like a liquid glitter. Now I have the shades Mothership, which is this gorgeous greeny type of color. So that is Mothership there. I feel like my applicator is not that great on this one. My favorite would be probably Walk of Fame, which is this gorgeous shade right there. Super duper reflective. I also have UF Woe, which is like a pinky copper shade, which is also super stunning. So that's UF Woe. What do we have here? Moonlit, which is like a purpley type of one. Yeah, this one's really pretty as well. And then the last one I own is Dragon. No, sorry, Running in Orbits. Which one was Dragon? I swear I have Dragon. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Running in Orbits, which is that one there, which is probably gonna be hard to see. 
So these are the Super Nova shadows. I think they're stunning. I think the longevity of them is really well. They were amazingly on the eyes. And again, I believe they're only $6, so a bargain. If you guys want to see me compare these to the Stila liquid metals, liquid eyeshadows, I do have them, so I can definitely do that video if you want to see it. Let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely do that comparison for you guys. But honestly, these are six bucks and they're amazing. So I'd probably go for these. But the other ones are great too. I actually have one of the Stila ones on my eyes today, which is super funny. But yeah, I love the Supernova shadows. Also, if you want to see tutorials with any of these specific products, hit me up in the comments and I will do that too. So I'm so sorry if the lighting has changed again. The sun is going down. This is when I'm filming this outro, so I apologize. I am gonna leave this bit here and have it as a part one of my collection, just because I still have so much more to go over. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you're keen for part two. In part two, I'll be sharing my palettes as well as their pressed powders with you guys, like their highlighters. Pressed bronzers, pressed blushes, pressed highlighters, luster dusts, and all of that sort of thing. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed part one of my collection, which there is a fair bit in it, but there is even more in part two. I own literally most of their palettes, if not all. It is insane. So that's gonna be in part two, and that'll hopefully be my next video when I get a chance to film it, and it'll probably be on a different day, because I've run out of day and what not. So thank you for watching part one of my ColourPop makeup collection so far. I really hope you guys are enjoying this. Again, if you want specific videos ColourPop wise or anything else for that matter, please don't hesitate to let me know down below. I would love, love, love if you guys would subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton. Also, give the video a thumbs up just because it helps get it out there if you did enjoy it. It helps get my videos seen by so many other people if you guys just simply thumbs up. It's free and amazing, and yes, I just realized that I did take my lip color off. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.